Today, I'm gonna to show you the best exercise for every guitarist. It's called the Caterpillar. You can start this exercise at any fret. So I'll start at the first fret here. My first finger, first fret of the lowest string. All you do is pick first, second, third, fourth on the lowest string, go to the next string. First fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, next string. Two, three, Then go backwards. Four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Basically, you want to make sure that your hand is in this position here, spread out, so you can reach one, two, three, four on the appropriate notes. All right, like so. With your thumb in the back here, not over top like that and with your fingers fanned out like so. All right, make sure you're pressing the strings on the sweet spot of your fingertip, not too close to the nail, not on your actual pad where your fingerprint is. All right. Um, as you ascend, your left hand thumb, all right, will come up on top of the neck here. And as you come back to the low string, it'll come back to the middle of the neck here, all right? So as you ascend, the thumb comes up. As you descend, the thumb comes back down, down here on the neck, all right? Next, make sure you're picking, alternate picking, all right? So it's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, all the way. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down. All right. Next, make sure you're coordinating both hands as best possible so that when you play the next note, you pick and fret the note at the exact same time so that they're connected. Make sure you're not putting your finger down before you pick or picking before you put your finger down. All right. When you're going backwards, you have to lift and place your finger and pick at the exact same time, all right? For a smooth connection. Next, ideally this exercise is play with a metronome. If you're a beginner, just start out by going very slow, learning the motions, all right, and coordinating your hands. If you're more advanced, you can start with a metronome, all right? Start at 100 here. So you can pick quarter notes. Keep turning that up till it gets fast. Etc. All the way up and down. All right, once you reach about 140, I cut that in half. I go to 70. All right, then I pick two notes per beat, eighth notes. Etc. All right, you keep turning that up slowly. Maybe four to eight beats per minute at a time. All right, we're at 120 here. Okay, once we reach 140 again, we can cut that in half. Go to 70. Now we can play 16th notes, so four notes per beat. So one, two, three, four. Keep getting faster and faster. If you can reach 200, you're a pro. It's very, very fast. <laughs> All right. So, just to recap, one, two, three, four with your first, second, third, fourth fingers. All right. All the way up. All the way down. All right. Alternate your picking every stroke. You can start at any fret. You can start at the fifth fret. You can start nine, ten, whatever. I encourage you to start at different frets, actually, uh, once you get comfortable at one, because they have different spacing between the fingers. The frets get smaller as the, as you go up the neck, so it requires you to have sort of a different 
uh, spacing, different feel in your left hand. All right. One last thing, make sure you keep your movements as small as possible. So in your left hand, you're moving your fingers just enough to play the notes. No big movements, okay? Same with your pick in your right hand. Make sure it's just small picks, small down up, all right? Nothing big, okay?